Hey, 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 I'm back. Um, after a longish hiatus, I'm finally back. I've been really stressing about where I was gonna live, you know, between, uh, I've been asked to move out of my last place of living and um, between speaking to mortgage advisors about um, whether or not I can buy um, or whether or not there are places to buy or finding a place to rent. It's a hard time to rent if you're living alone. Um, I just didn't have the mental capacity to write videos, but um, I found a place to live, so here I am. And while I was away being busy, stressed with, um, you know, finding a place to live, one of the things that I started doing was to explore something that I've never really thought about before, and that is street photography. You know when you're busy and you are doing stuff and you're just trying, you're just trying to find something to take off your mind. In this whole busyness and stressful time, my friends took me in um, before I managed to find somewhere permanent to live. They live right in the city centre, so I thought it was a good opportunity for me to do some street photography. If you don't know, but I'm sure most of you watching know, most of the photography I do um, is related to people. Feel free to check out my Instagram. You can see some of my work there. I've also got a website. Find it in the link um, in the description below. But yeah, most of the stuff that I do normally relates to people. Um, I've done portrait shoots before. I've done a few album art covers before, but I've never done street photography. But given that I was right in the city center, I thought, why not? Let's give it a go. So I went around with my camera, sometimes, you know, after work, um, during my lunch breaks, just to walk around the city that I've lived in for 10 years now. New ways to look in the city that I've never thought of before. But here's the thing, you might be thinking, I took my, you know, big camera setup out to do these photos, but actually, I don't know if you know, but I got myself one of these. A little uh, point and shoot, um, I say little. Uh, this is a Ricoh GR2. Uh, it's not the latest one, I bought it used, but this is what I've been using to take photos that you've been seeing throughout this video. So, okay, granted, um, this camera, that I'm using, uh, it's still a quite a nice point and shoot camera, um, but it's still just a point and shoot camera. There's no um, changeable lens. In fact, this lens only fits on one very cool distance. Before the next generation, the GR3 came out, this was actually considered the king of street photography. And one of the reasons why it's so good is it's got the sensor from a um, beginner's DSLR, um, but also one of the reasons why it's so good is when it came out in 2015, this was one of the fastest reacting cameras. So you get the press of the button. I think the official time is about one second and you're ready to take photos. And there are photos I've taken on this camera that I probably would never have been able to take using my camera setup. Because it's so small and quick, so small and easy to get going, it allows me to be really instantaneous with photos. There were scenarios where if I didn't have the camera out in time, if I were busy selecting focus or setting up stuff um, on my camera setup, uh, there will be shots that I would have missed. And using this camera, I managed to catch them all. <laughs> Pokemon pun right there. Um, it's small enough for me to take anywhere. One of the factors of it being so small is that I get to be a little bit inconspicuous with it. The shots that I took, that if I had my big camera setup would be, people would have reacted differently to it. And now, actually, with this camera, I was able to take pictures and people are happy to just zoom by, walk past as they would normally, or they might actually apologize for being in shot. But what's the point? What's the point of me telling you all this? What's the point of me writing a click baity title for this video? Well, the point is this. I think in a previous video I mentioned about different cameras and whether or not you should buy a camera, what type of camera you should buy. In my exercise of trying to find meditation, to find quiet time, to find alone time away from you know the hustle and bustle and the stuff that I was stressing about, what I realized and and what I, I suppose began to try to prove was that you don't need a big fancy camera setup to take really, really good pictures. You can get a point and shoot camera that is a fraction of the budget of what you would have spent on a nice camera eventually on lenses um, to take really good photos. Because yes, gear, contrary to my title, gear do matter, but it is not as important as being able to have the right camera in your hand. 
the right camera for you is more important than having the right camera for what pro photographers would use. Good cameras are available in every price range, in every category. This one suits some of my needs at a fraction of the cost of what my main camera would cost. And I hope this video and the pictures I've shown you in this video kind of goes to prove that you can take really, really good photos even if you don't have expensive camera setup. So the next time someone asks me, or if you ask me what camera you should buy, and I don't suggest, I didn't suggest a fancy camera setup or an expensive complicated camera and lens combination, please don't be offended because my suggestion comes out of a place where I think you have more fun exploring more kinds of photography, taking better photos using this camera setup than something else. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section below. Um, and don't forget to give this channel a subscribe and give it a like this video a like. Um, I'll see you back in the next video. Thank you.